In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a solid by revolving it about the y-axis. So suppose we have the function x equals to y minus y squared. Uh, x equals to 0 and I want to revolve this uh, region about the y-axis okay so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw my region so here is the function y minus y squared and x equals to 0 by setting the x a function here or this x equals to the other x you get uh, y minus y squared I'm gonna erase this so you get y minus y squared equals to 0 and then factoring the y you get y times 1 minus y equals to 0 and then you get y equals to 0 and y equals to 1 Let me erase that. Okay, so um, this um, y equals to 0 and this y equals to 1 are the points corresponding to the point 0, 0 and the point uh, 0, 1. Those are the y values corresponding. To. If you rotate this about the y axis, I'm going to draw a little loop right here. That means I'm going to rotate, rotate this about the y axis. I'm going to get a copy of that and I get something that looks like. Um, like that and I'm gonna use the, this method to find the volume of this solid so I'm gonna draw a cross-section that is perpendicular to the y-axis and the volume in this case when you rotate a region about the y-axis is going to be the integral from C to D of pi r y square The, this is uh, a disk, so the area of the disk is pi r squared, and then you integrate, and that gives you the volume. Um, notice, though, that the radius is going to be a function of y, so how do we find it? We just take the um, um, function on the right minus the axis of rotation. So in this case, the axis of rotation is the y-axis, so therefore the radius is just equals to y minus y squared. And because I'm going to go ahead and put a little square here, so the volume is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 because the limits of integration are the y values this time. Pi times uh, the radius, which is, you know, y minus y squared. And then you square that with respect to y. Um, you can take the pi out and then integrate from 0 to 1 the y minus y square square when you expand that out you will get y minus 2y cubed plus y to the 4 power with respect to y and then integrate that so you get pi times uh, y square divided by 2 minus 2 over 4 y to the 4 power a plus y to the 5th power divided by 5 and then you just plug in 1 that will give you pi times a half um, This is uh, actually two thirds rather than two, two fours, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that four. Um, like this, and I'm gonna erase this. Um, four. Oh, what is it? Two to two to the four power. Actually, this is the one that is supposed to be y squared, so. My bad. <laughs> I don't know how to factor things out. That's what happens when you try to skip steps. So this is supposed to be y squared. 
this is minus 2y cubed plus y to the 4 power so therefore this is y to the 3rd power divided by 3 and then this is 1 third and then this is the odd of the 4 and the 4 here so minus 1 half because 2 fourths is the same as 1 half negative uh, plus 1 fifth okay so uh, after that you get pi over 30 that's the volume of that solid okay now suppose that I have the region x equals y minus y squared um, x equals to minus 2 and I want to rotate that region about the line x equals to negative 2 this time the region uh, will go like this this is still the curve uh, y minus x uh, y minus y squared but it's gonna go a little further because it goes all the way to x equals to negative 2 so it goes all the way to here and then all the way all the way to here and then a copy of that will look something like this so not my best picture but anyway a uh, cross sectional will be a disc that is perpendicular to x equals to minus 2 alright how do we find the lower limit and the upper limit right here so by setting uh, y minus y squared equals to minus 2 uh, that gives you y minus y squared plus 2 equals to 0 and therefore if you multiply everything by minus 1 you get y squared minus y minus 2 equals to 0 and you can factor that and you get y minus 2 um, y plus 1 equals to 0 and that will give you y equals to minus 1 and y equals to so the lower point right here will be, I'm going to draw a little arrow here, it will be negative 2 for the x value and negative 1 for the y value. And the upper point right here will be negative 2 for the x value and 2 for the y value. What is the radius? The radius is going to be a function of y. So let me erase this x right here and put a y. So it would be the function uh, y minus y squared minus the axis of rotation, which is negative 2, so minus and minus 2. So it's y minus y squared plus 2. And the volume is the integral from minus 1 to 2 because it's based on the the lower limit is the um, l uh, smaller y value and the upper limit is the biggest y value and then you get pi r square where the radius is a function of y which is in this case is y minus y square plus 2 and then you square that and then after that you integrate all of that with respect to y and that will give you the volume by revolving y minus y squared and x equals to minus 2 about the line x equals to minus 2 now suppose we have the equation x equals to y minus y squared the equation x equals to zero and I want to rotate the region about the line x equals to negative one in this case the region uh, will look something like this because you're just going from 0 to y minus y squared however since we are rotating about the line 
x equals to minus 1. We're going to get a copy of that region that will look something like that. And in this case, rather than getting a disk, we're going to get a washer because we're going to get this inner circle and this outer circle. And therefore, uh, this is supposed to be touching that like that. Uh, we cannot use the disk method because we do not get the disk on the cross section. We get a washer. So we use something that is called the washer method in order to find the volume of the solid. So for the washer method, by rotating about the vertical line, the volume is equal to the integral from C to D again. But this time we get um, pi times the outer radius square minus pi times the inner radius square. And then you integrate all of that with respect to y. So, the limits of integration right here are going to be from 0 to 1 because we still have this 0, 0 and this 0, 1 here. So, the limits of integration are going to go from 0 to 1 for this particular problem and for that particular region. We need to find the outer radius. I'm going to find the outer radius on this little piece of scratch work, uh, work over here. So, the outer radius in this case will be the uh, right function minus the axis of integration so the right function uh, would be y minus y squared and then minus the axis of integration which is negative 1 so that will give you y minus y squared plus 1 that's the outer radius I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go from like it's supposed to be from right here to the, from the center to the outer, outer circle the inner radius for this uh, washer is just going to be the radius of the inner circle, which is in this case the vertical line x equals to 0 minus the um, axis of rotation. So right minus left, 0 plus 1, which is 1. Okay, so then uh, going back over here to the formula for the volume, we are going to have the pi. And then the outer radius is equals to y minus y squared plus 1. And then we're going to square that. And then minus pi times the inner radius, which is in this case 1. And then you're going to square that. So it just happens to be 1 right here, and then you integrate this with respect to y. like that. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and write one more step. So it will be the integral from 0 to 1 pi times y minus y squared plus 1 squared uh, minus um, pi or minus 1. I'm actually going to take this pi and I'm going to go ahead and factor it out. So I'm going to, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Let me get my eraser. Erase this right here and I'm going to go ahead and put it outside of the integral. So let me put my little pin right here back. Here we go. Here's the pi. And this 1 is because of that 1 squared is just 1, so and then you just integrate all of that with respect to y. You still have to um, expand that y minus y squared plus 1 squared, and then whatever you get, you subtract 1 from it. And then you integrate, and then you multiply, um, you put the 1 in there, and then you multiply everything by pi, and that will give you the volume. So this is finding the volume of that solid using the washer method. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to find the volume you of a region revolve about either the x-axis or the y-axis, but this time by using something that is called the shell method. So as it's called finding volumes using